Hello everyone, welcome. My name is James Fellino and I'm from Yati Yoga. Thank you for joining up to our beginners series. Uh, at the moment we're just doing a few videos just for the yoga asanas. You've done uh, the first video of the yoga asanas and now we're going to move into some more uh, different asanas that we can do with our yoga practice. And like I said, the next few videos are going to form a base for when we do commence our yoga classes. So uh, moving on from our, our first video and doing our, our mountain pose, we also did our raised hands pose. From there, what we can do is also, when we move through, we move uh, into a forward bend. So the, the, what we're going to do is a standard forward bend. So we start in our mountains pose. We inhale, lift our arms up for our raised hands pose. And then as we exhale, we fold our body forward, bring in our hands to the ground beside our feet if we can. You can bend your knees as much as you need to to bring your hands down. And then it's about bringing your forehead as close as possible to your knees. And while still here, you're trying to push your knees back. So to really open up for your hamstrings. Inhale, bring your body up. So that's our forward bend pose. The next one that we can do is a half bend. So it's an inhale up for our raised hands pose. Then it's an exhale down for our forward bend pose. And then it's an inhale halfway lift, straighten your spine. You can bring your hands to your shins and eyes looking forward. So that's your half bend pose. So when we're doing them, you'll find that that usually uh, occurs in our sun salutations. And we'll do another video where we'll do each of our sun salutations so that we can really familiarize ourselves with the movement. Now we're gonna move into the yoga asana, uh, we're gonna move into the yoga warriors. So let's have a look at our warrior one pose. If we were to be in our downward dog, as we learned in the previous video, so your toes are slightly turned in, heels slightly turned out, pushing the heels down to the earth, palms are flat, elbows are in, and pushing your hips back, keeping a nice, long, straight spine. The right leg lifts up, and the goal is to bring that right leg in between our hands, and then it's an inhale up for our warrior one. From here, let's have a look at the technique. That back heel, you're pushing it towards the earth to open up through your left hip flexor. Your right knee is in front of, is on top of your right ankle and your arms are raised shoulder width apart above your head. And this is our warrior one. From our warrior one, we can inhale it up. We turn our back foot heel inwards. So if you're to have a look, your two heels are now in one line. And then from here, we release the hands down. Your chin is over your front right shoulder and your eyes are looking towards your front fingers. This now becomes our warrior two position. As you can see, that front right knee is still bent at a right angle with the knee tracking over the ankle. Put some tension through your right quadricep. Warrior two. From our warrior two, we can move into a reverse warrior. So turning the front hand up, releasing the hands, left hand to left leg, right hand to the sky, with our eyes looking towards our right hand. This left hand, it's not resting on the back leg, it's touching the back leg and you're getting pulled up and pulled down. So you're getting pulled both ways in this position. Reverse warrior. Warrior two, transition, warrior one. Okay, the next uh, warrior that we're going to look at is a warrior three, and it's a balancing warrior. So if we come to the back of our mat, you bring your legs together, bodies are nice and tall. Inhale, bring your arms up. Interlock your fingers, index finger out, fingers are crossed over. If you want, we're going to, have to step it forward. Your finger body weight will shift from the back leg to the front leg. You then fold your body forward. 
Your eyes are looking at the top of the mat. Your arms are being pulled forward. Your back left leg is being pulled back. You're keeping your right leg nice and straight and strong. Warrior three. Okay, so there's our warriors. And you'll find that you'll be doing these warriors quite a lot throughout the different classes. The next one that we're gonna move into is a triangle pose. And we come into that from a warrior two. So if we set up our warrior two, two heels in one line, and your arms are nice and straight, you're looking over your front hand. So from warrior two, to go into your triangle pose, you straighten your front knee, you lean your body as far forward as you can, and then you rotate both hands. Left hand coming to where you feel comfortable, it might be a bit higher up towards the knee, it might be a bit lower, wherever you feel comfortable. Again, we're not resting that hand on the leg, we're being pulled from the top hand up, from the bottom hand down. Body's being pulled in both directions. Your head is looking up towards your left thumb. Inhale, bring your body up. Triangle pose. From our triangle pose, we're gonna go into a, a side angle pose and then we can look at an extended side angle pose. So again, we come to our warrior two and from our warrior two, we rotate our hands, we bring our left, our right, our, sorry, right arm to our right knee, and we rest it on the right knee, and then we bring our head to look over our left arm, or our left shoulder towards our left fingertips. And this is side angle pose. To extend this, head turns towards the ground. Release your right hand in front of your right foot. Turn your head and body and look towards your right left hand. And this is extended side angle pose. Head turns down to the ground and you can bring your left hand down. Okay, the next one that we're going to look at is a little bit more challenging for our lower back and it's called camel pose. So we come on to the mats and we come onto our knees. Now, camel pose, your feet are flat, or the tops of your feet are flat on the earth. You bring your hands to your hips and slightly towards, more towards your back than your hips. And you'll start to find that you've got a little bit of movement here that you can move forward and back. And for some of you, you may already, when you come back to this position, you already may have some tension through your back and you may want to stay there for today. If you still feel good in that position, what we're going to do is release one hand down and then the second hand down. So let's have a look at it. So we bring our hips back, we release one hand to our heel, second hand to our heel, drop our head back, and then it's an inhale, push your hips and body forward to really open up, breathe through the movement, and this is camel pose. To come out of it, same way you came back in, protect your spine, lift one arm up, second arm up, and then bring in your spine back nice and straight. So that is our camel pose. So the next one that we're going to look at is going to be our hero pose. So with our hero pose, it's a seated position. And we're just going to, probably best if I do it front on, we're bringing our knees together, bringing the feet out a little bit to the side, and we're just sitting down into that position there. So again, this can be a meditative position. It can put some pressure through the outside of your knees. So for some of you at the start, you may not be able to stay into this asana for that long. And we can just build it with time. Ultimately, what's happening here is that your hips are sinking and you should find that over time that your bottom has hit the earth. Breathe. Hero pose. The next one that we're going to move on to is our pigeon. So pigeon is another great stretch for our hips. If we were to start in a downward dog position like so, you'd bring your leg up, right leg, bringing that right knee underneath the right wrist, land in that, right foot turns in. From here, we slide the left leg back and we come up for our upright pigeon. 
Really open up through your right hip and into the right hamstring. From here, if you'd like to go a little bit deeper, you can come down to your elbows, or you can extend the arms forward, forehead down and body down. Slowly coming up out of our pigeon pose, and we're gonna move into a spine spinal twist. So if we were to come onto our bottoms, what we're doing here, keeping a straight spine, we bring our right knee, we bring our right leg over our left leg, bring in your left arm, elbow onto the outside of the right knee, right hand behind your spine, open your chest, and then twist your head to look over your back shoulder. And then with your front left hand and elbow, you can pull to pull that knee across and breathe. This is a supine spinal twist. And then we slowly release. We're going to look at one more and it's going to be our pyramid pose. So our pyramid pose is from here, standing with our feet together, or we can actually move into a um, warrior two. From warrior two, you straighten through that front leg, but this back leg needs to come in a little bit closer. Okay, your front foot is facing straight, your back leg or back foot is angled on a 45 degree angle. From here, you inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, do our forward bend. Bring in your hands to the ground. Now, if your forehead can't touch your knee, you can bend this front knee as much as you need to to make contact forehead to knee. Once you've made contact from here, it's about pushing the knee back and trying to straighten through that front leg. Really feeling a hamstring stretch high up underneath the glute muscles. And breathe, breathe. And then slowly coming up. So there's some more different yoga asanas that we're, we're going through. Like I said, we always um, showing you these just on one side of the body. Really good idea is if you're to pause the video and try it on both sides of the body and to do the video a few times so that when we commence our yoga classes, the terminology, the movements and the feelings are going to be very comfortable and you're going to have a really good understanding of that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.